Hi everyone, today I will show you how to fix Overwatch 2 rendering device lost problem. Before moving on to the video, you can support me by liking the video and deliver this video to people who are looking for this video like you, let's start. Our first solution is to close applications running in the background. To do this, we open the task manager. Then click on startup. Here, if applications such as Discord, Spotify and Steam are enabled, make them disable. After doing this, we click on processes. We scroll down and take a look at background processes. If there are any extra programs running here, we close them. As an example of these extra programs, we can show Spotify and Razor's application. If you have such programs open in the background, make sure to close them. Because it causes too much load on your computer with the programs open in the background during the game. This could cause you problems. After closing your background apps, you can check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to our second solution. Our second solution is to update the video card in Windows. To update Windows, we come to the search section and enter settings. Then click on Windows Update. After doing this, we click on Check for Updates. If you need to update Windows, update it. To update our video card, we need the program of the video card we are using. I put the download link in the description for NVIDIA, AMD and Intel graphics cards. From there you can go directly to the download page. Since my video card is NVIDIA, I come to NVIDIA's site and click accept and install. Then I click save. The installation file of the program has been downloaded. Now you can install your video card program and update your drivers. After updating your drivers, you can check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to our third solution. Our third solution is to turn on gaming mode. To do this, we come to the search section and enter settings. Then click on gaming. Click on Xbox Game Bar and toggle off Xbox Game Bar. We come to the previous page and click on game mode. If game mode is toggle off, we toggle it on. After doing this, we click on graphics. Here we find Overwatch among our apps. Then we click on Options. We tick High Performance and click Save. If we don't see Overwatch here, we have a chance to add Overwatch manually. To do this we need the file location of Overwatch. To find the file location of Overwatch, we right-click on its shortcut and click Open File Location. We found out the file location of Overwatch. Now we come back to Graphics and choose Desktop App. We click on Browse. Now we will add Overwatch. We added Overwatch. Click on Options and tick High Performance. Then we click Save. Now you can open Overwatch and check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to our fourth solution. Our fourth solution is to reset the in-game options. To do this, we open Battle.net's application. Then click on Overwatch above. After doing this, we click on the gear next to play. Go to Game Settings. Click on Reset in-game options. Then we click on Reset. We reset the in-game options. Now you can check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to our fifth solution. Our fifth solution is to lower the game settings. To do this, we click on the menu. We click Graphics Quality. Then we set Graphics Quality to Low. We changed our graphics setting. Now you can restart the game and check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to our sixth solution. Our sixth solution is to download the old version of our video card driver. The reason we do this is because the last update to our graphics card may be causing problems in Overwatch 2. We will try to solve this problem by downloading the old version of our video card. I will only show for NVIDIA as I am using NVIDIA graphics card. You can download drivers for NVIDIA from the link I put in the description. After entering the site, you need to choose your video card. 
If you do not know your video card, type DXDiag in the search section and find out what your video card is from the processor section. After entering the information of our video card, we choose all to see all the drivers. Then click search. The driver we need to download is GeForce Game Ready Driver. You may be seeing more than one like me. It doesn't matter which one you download. Because they're all old versions anyway. Just choose the GeForce Game Ready Driver ones. We click on download. Click on download again. We click on save. Our file has been downloaded. Now we start the installation. We click on OK. Click on Agree and Continue. We click Next. We downloaded the old version of our video card. Now you can restart your computer and check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to our seventh solution. Our seventh solution is to check our system files. To do this, we come to the search section and write CMD. Then open CMD as administrator. Now there are two codes we need to write here. I will put them in the description section, from there you can copy and paste them into CMD. After typing the code, we press enter. These processes may take some time. This process is over, now we write our second code and press enter. Like the other code, I will put it in the description section, you can copy and paste it again. This process may take some time too, please be patient. With this process, Windows found corrupt files and repaired these files. Now you can enter Overwatch and check if the problem is solved or not. We have come to the end of the video. I hope one of these solutions fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to support me. Take care, and see you in the next video.